This was a very nice view, man. Awesome. So long, Airbnb. Oof. So damn hot. All right, Lisbon, here we go. to Lisbon. This is the hotel where Rachel uh, has been staying the whole week. She's here for work. Uh, she's here for a conference. The conference ends today and that's why I'm here because tomorrow we are leaving for Spain. It's already 3 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna be on my own the rest of the day uh, because she has uh, some work to do today and she has uh, plans for dinner so uh, I'm not really sure what to do. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any photography so probably just chill for a while here and then go for a walk and then try to find a place for dinner for one and yeah something like that these are pretty amazing so i've been looking at this magazine it's a special edition from time and it's the 100 photographs the most influential 100 photographs of all time by the way my mother-in-law sent these from the states thank you so much i love it it has your usual suspects like that one from kudelka that one is pretty powerful too and yeah most of them are from like wars and events like that like that one tiananmen square and yeah they are very powerful and like, some of them are crazy shots they have some regular shots more regular shots like that one from let's see if i can say it, henry Cartier-Bresson. The cool thing about this magazine is that it has a little bit of a story about this photo and for example I didn't know this photo uh, it was after World War II so these two didn't know each other and I had no idea I thought that it was like you know a boyfriend coming to the girlfriend after the war but yeah they didn't know each other and that's pretty cool. Anyway looking at those photos made me miss uh, my photo books that I have in the States. I don't have a big collection I only have like five or six but I love every single one of them. Not too long ago I wasn't sure if photo books were worth it. After all we have internet and we can look at photos from our favorite photographers at any time and actually I have in my notes app I have a, a notebook with a bunch of photographers that I love and I have uh, the, some of their photos here, some of their quotes too like for example this one from Michael Kena and I have what else do I have here? Do, 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 do. I have Bill Brand and I have a bunch of uh, quotes from interviews uh, with him and I like to sometimes look at them before going out to take some photos just to get inspired. So one might think why do you need a photo book if you can access all those photos and all that information uh, from your phone. I believe that photography is much more than a bunch of photos uh, put together randomly. Every book has a lot of work behind it and there is a reason why that photo is on page number five and there is a reason why that photo is not even on that book. It is very hard to tell a story with just one image and even though we just saw some examples on that magazine those are very specific because as I said uh, they are images uh, made on wars and a very specific events so we all know the context from those images. There is another way for photographers to tell compelling stories and that is a collection of images. It could be a scene, it could be a book or it could be just a collage and that's what I love about books. There is someone else's mind behind them. There is a reason why they were put together that way to tell a story. Sometimes it's the photographer themselves, sometimes it's someone else, but it doesn't matter. The important thing here is that someone put some thought onto that. And that is much more that I can say about my little notebook in the notes app or whatever I can find from a random search in Google. 
So how come if I believe all of this that I'm saying, I don't have more photo books? Well, the reason is very simple. Look where I am. I'm in a hotel. We travel a lot and books are usually big and heavy. Not to forget that they are very expensive. But after looking at those images, I really want to have a, a few books here uh, that I can bring with me on trips across Europe and then I can leave at my parents uh, when we are traveling in the US or somewhere else. Since I'm in Lisbon, it shouldn't be too hard to find bookstores around here. So, Libraria. Okay, there are quite a few around here. So, I will have to do some research to figure out which ones uh, have photo books and then I'm gonna go for a walk. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna buy one photo book. Someone who just came to mind is Sebastian Salgado or Sebastian Salgado, I guess, in English. And I know he's Brazilian, but he speaks Portuguese. And even though he's a photographer and his uh, books might not have a lot of text, if they do, it's gonna be in Portuguese, at least the original edition. So they might have some of uh, those books around here. Uh, I'm gonna look for that. He's not my favorite photographer. I don't love his style, but uh, I wouldn't mind buying one. Have to stop for some chestnuts because these are the best things ever and I, I hadn't eaten anything today. Oh my god, those chestnuts were unreal. I've asked on Instagram if anyone knew of a good bookstore to buy photo books here in Lisbon and 35 millimeter film roll recommended FNAC, so that's that's where I'm going. to finish this video from Lisbon but that night I had a little bit too much fun and the next morning was pretty much the opposite of fun. So really quick I just wanted to finish my random thoughts about photo books and if they are worth it nowadays or not. This is the book that I ended up purchasing there in Lisbon it's called Genesis by Sebastian Salgado. I believe this is uh, his latest uh, book. Uh, it was released maybe five years ago or so. It's pretty big and thick. Uh, I will be doing like a proper review kind of. I've never done a review of a book but I will try to make a different video just talking about this book because uh, there is amazing uh, working here. Going through the images of this book confirmed what I thought uh, is that a photo book is an incredible tool uh, to see or to look into the uh, thought process of the photographer. Well in this case this is a project, this is the result of an eight year long project uh, for, from Sebastian Salgado and his wife. Both of them selected the images and edited the images. This uh, was uh, very well thought out the whole thing and this is what I meant at the beginning of this video uh, that's what you can get from photo books it's a whole the whole idea the whole idea behind uh, getting out there and going to all these places and making all these images there is an idea there is a goal in mind and that's uh, what the photographer is trying to do here with a photo book and that's something that you don't get 
looking at just uh, these same images uh, on the internet because they are not rearranged the same way uh, you are never going to find the same set of images they are not going to be next to each other the same way that they are here uh, so yeah i would argue that photo books in that sense they are very very valuable and also because you know it's not the same to see the these pictures in like uh, they are kind of big this uh, this book is big so it's not the same to to look at the pictures at this size than on your phone or, or even your tablet so in that sense yes they are very very worth it now many people say that books are a great investment and it's better to spend money on books and not on camera gear uh, i understand where they are coming from and i agree with them to a point you need a camera gear to make images you need a camera you need lenses but if your camera gear is just fine and you the only thing that you're lacking is a motivation or inspiration then a photo book can help a lot i believe though that the best way to spend your money to improve your photography is on travel just go somewhere new somewhere you haven't been before uh, it's what inspires me the most at least for me and i believe that for most people uh, so i would recommend you that if you already have well you first need a camera and a lens if you don't have it buy that first once you have your camera and your lens just go places i uh, start around your home but then go places go farther because that will that will inspire you a lot and keep on your phone some like photos from uh, photographers that you find inspiring uh, the photographers that you admire and just look at them every once in a while and if you have uh, money to spare then buy photo books keep a small collection at first if you want i'd rather have a small collection of uh, books that i really really enjoy than having a bunch of books that i don't really like so yeah I think that's all for today i would love to know your opinion about photo books uh, do you think they are worth it today or do you think that it's just better to save the money for trips or for camera gear and look at the photos online uh, do you have uh, a lot of photo books do you have a big collection do you have a small collection what photo books uh, do you recommend uh, all of that please leave a comment down below with your opinion i really really appreciate when you guys leave uh, comments uh, because uh, you know i feel like someone is watching and it feels amazing thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.